Greetings and welcome, friends. We're taking a look at 2010, problem 21's kneecap question. Back in the day, this question was worth two points. On average, our students got 0.3 of those two points, and the state of Vermont got 0.4 of them. So that means about 15% of our students got this right-ish, and 20% uh, of the state got it right-ish, although I think you could get partial credit on it. It said, what are the coordinates of the point where the lines y equals 2x minus 1 and y equals 4x plus 13 intersect? Show your work or explain how you know. So I could graph both of these using y equals mx plus b sort of thing and try to find the intersection, but please, I would not like to do that. Instead, I'm actually going to view this as a system of equations, uh -huh, where the intersection is going to be the common point between the two. So uh, if I'm solving by substitution, uh, solve one of the equations for one of its variables. Hey, both of them are solved for one of their variables. What do you know? So I'm going to say if this is truly equal to y, this is already a revised equation. I could plug this into the other equations. Y. So 4x plus 13 is equal to 2x minus 1. And now we'll solve. Hey, it looks like I've got variables on both sides of the equation. Let's bring them together, friends. I always like to move the little guy to the big guy, although technically doesn't matter. Uh, 2x plus 13 equals negative 1. Uh, subtract 13 from both sides. Do, 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 do. And then I would divide both sides by 2. And whoop de doo I found a solution. Well, not quite a solution, a half solution. Uh, x is equal to negative 7. If I want to figure out what y is equal to... Plug it into y equals our revised equation. Yeah, although in this case, both of them are equally efficient. Uh, but yeah, we'll plug it into the revised... It wouldn't matter which one you do. Correct, as far as efficiency is concerned. Actually, I might even argue this, uh, this one's a little bit easier because the numbers are smaller. Negative 28 plus 13. Uh, what's that going to be? Is that the old negativo 15, if I'm not mistaken? So uh, my solution you could view as the ordered pair negative 7 comma negative 15. Now think about negative 7, negative 15. That, uh, like when I draw a graph, I don't want to go 15 spaces down on the graph. Uh, so if I was trying to graphically solve this, it would be a little bit inconvenient to have a graph that accurate that far out and, uh, and draw my lines straight enough, whatnot, that uh, I'd still be able to get the right solution. So I just want to point out that this does represent a point of intersection between two lines. So thanks for watching, friends. Uh, bye bye